the bondage he used on his own victims um, through the years was patterned after what he liked to do to himself. This is all entertainment. These are all things that make him feel good. This is the entire, uh, in his office, uh, right beside him, this is a uh, cabinet drawer. This is pretty much the way it was. Uh, he has several three-ring binders, uh, but the most important one is this one here. It is called the communication book. He has cataloged the uh, communications as he sent them to us. He used these, these books and these, these files to document pretty much everything he did over the years. Uh, and he wanted to keep them, obviously, because um, he didn't want them getting out. He wanted to keep them close. However, guys like this, I guarantee you he's read through these. He's looked through these books hundreds of times because that's how he continued his fantasy work. And he was comfortable with it being in his locked office at work so that he was the only one who had access to it. And he was pretty cantankerous at work, so I mean, People didn't mess with his stuff because he was just a na he was, he was kind of a nasty guy and a uh, very unpleasant individual by, by all accounts. He would prepare a book like this, and this is what he'd take. He'd set this beside him when he was driving around. And this is prepared for just so he can fantasize. He, he tells you where he got the picture. He has the picture and how he's named the person. And then uh, the, the actual ones of these were actual colored photographs, and some of these he would actually lynch. This is how he would have a, 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 one of these little books here, and he'd have this set beside him, and he'd drive around at work, and he, he'd even note to himself that I have, uh, you know, he, he, he called this model. Um, this model here is, um, may I wrap Sparky in your hair? Uh, he would say, I have, I have, like, Becky with me today. And uh, he would have a, a notebook like this with just three pages in it. And this is what he would carry, uh, what he'd carry during work hours and fantasize about, about that. Here's another example right here. He would cut them out, he'd mount them. These are all things that he either copied, like I said, these are all shrunk down from, there's all piece of paper here, either, either tape or glue stick to the uh, to the actual index card. None of this is embarrassing or, this is all entertainment. These are all things that make him feel good. Quantity of material is, is pretty staggering because this is one drawer, and I assure you there are, uh, there's a green tub, uh, there are other books in his house. He would save books, uh, anybody, and he would actually put put uh, little uh, post notes uh, where the books would would mention him. One of the many interesting things about this case also were these photographs that Raider took of himself in in different levels of bondage. And if you'll notice, and because we noticed right away, that the bondage he used on his own victims um, through the years um, was patterned after what he liked to do to himself, uh, or vice versa. But you can see in some of these that one, one of his almost signature um, signs was a, some type of bondage above the victim's knees. He liked ankles. Sometimes one in the middle, is it like the Otero girl? And then there was almost always bondage above the knee. It, it really doesn't serve any purpose to tie someone up simply above the knees. They can still kick and run and try to get away. But this was a signature, and he liked that. And you can see in his own selfies that in almost every one of them, he has that same type of bondage. And obviously, that was a 
preference of his. He liked to see it. He liked to see it on his victims. He liked to see it on himself. He wanted to know why he did what he did, what caused him to be the way he was. But it wasn't out of remorse. He just wanted to know. Um, it, it, he showed zero uh, remorse throughout this entire investigation, arrest, court proceedings, incarceration. Um, he's never honestly shown any remorse. I think remorse to him is, is a concept. I don't think it's a reality.